on uh, the member for Carleton's uh, motion today. I do have to say it's unfortunate to witness the um, Conservative members continuing alarmist attacks on pricing carbon pollution. And it takes me back many years, it takes me back to 15 years ago as British Columbia's environment minister when that was the argument of the day. Uh, but we, as we know, Madam Speaker, BC's experience after having implemented a price on pollution uh, 10 years ago is that in most of the years since emissions have dropped while the economy has grown, in fact, grown faster than anywhere else in the country. So I do encourage the members opposite uh, to notice that the world has moved on from these kinds of arguments and that even uh, many members of the business community and industry support the opportunities that pricing carbon uh, creates for innovating and growing our clean energy economy. I'd like them to notice the international community has moved on and has come together to commit to reducing uh, greenhouse gas emissions to ensure that uh, warming stays below 2 degrees centigrade and hopefully 1.5 degrees centigrade. And moreover, uh, in the current uh, uh, Liberal government's pan-Canadian framework, it will be up to the provinces and territories themselves to decide what tool to use to ensure that greenhouse gas emissions are reduced and the funds that are raised through whatever mechanism they use will be up to the provinces and territories to determine how they are returned to their public.